Vlogmas. I think it's day like 16 or 17, I don't even know. It's, um, I'm talking quiet because Tyler is sleeping. Tyler has been working so much and so busy like he's the busiest he's been in a really long time because of the season but i've like barely seen him he's tattooing from morning till night and he's sleeping right now and i just don't want to wake him up he doesn't work i think until noon um so i'm actually gonna go to the tattoo shop early and do what i have to do and not have usually he'll like come when i go and just stay there until his tattoo gets there but i just i want him to rest so i'm just gonna go by myself get everything done and then leave once I'm finished. So I'm trying to do everything like right now so that when he wakes up he can just like do his morning routine and have his coffee and relax. Cause he, I think he's only had, he's only gonna have two days off this entire month. Which is why you guys haven't really seen him much in the vlogs lately cause he's just been like slammed at work. So I'm just making my coffee. I'm gonna have it while I pull all of the vlog footage that needs to be ready for this week's or for the, for today's vlog. Um, normally, I will edit the vlog right when I wake up, and I'll just start editing and I'll sit there until I'm done. But it takes so many hours that I'm like, no, I'm gonna go to the shop, do what I have to do, come home, and then I'll edit because I just want to make sure it's done. Um, and then after I leave the shop, I'm gonna go to Target because I have two Target gift cards and I'm gonna use those gift cards to just get like Christmas gifts or whatever. I'm gonna see what I can find anyway. Okay, so on my way to the tattoo shop, like I said, I'm going by myself because Tyler is like, having his coffee and just like relaxing and I don't want him to have to come. Like I have the code to get into the shop, I have the alarm, I have everything. So I want him to just stay home and chill. Hopefully nobody is there. I don't think anybody should be there, but there's one, there's two tattoo artists that always get there really early. And I want to be like, bro, like leave because I want to be able to like fully do everything that I have to do and it's hard when they're either they're setting up for their client, their client's already there and Tyler told me they might want me to be there more um, because they're starting to get a lot of uh, artists and they're about to start another apprenticeship. So there's a lot of tattoo artists and it's not a big um, shop. Like the shop is pretty small because they started off with just four of them and they're whole concept behind um their tattoo shop is no walk-ins they don't do any walk-ins because all of the tattoo artists are very um established like they've all been tattooing for five to ten years already so all of them have a solid clientele and all they wanted was a space that they could tattoo in without dealing with everything that comes with a tattoo shop but little by little like the way that they run their tattoo shop is like a dream to artists because they set it up where like they want the tattoo artists to take home as much of their money as possible so they try to keep their booth rental like as cheap as they can um so that it can have the the tattoo artists take home as much of their money as possible and a lot of a lot of tattoo artists get charged sometimes per day um like i remember tyler's old Tyler's old shop that he worked at, he had to pay $175 a day. So he always said that when he would book appointments, he knew that the first appointment needed to be more than $175 to cover his day. And then from there was his take home money. So there's some like that. There's some that give you like 40, 60, 50, 50, like percentage. Um, but they don't want to do it like that. So they just charge each tattoo artist a rental, like a, a booth rental. And then everybody keeps everything else. So they started out with four artists and it was just, who was it? 
same job. It was four owners because they split it four ways, the tattoo shop. One of the owners left to like do his own thing. So now there's three owners, Tyler, John, and Fame. And then they had hired a long time ago, they hired this girl who I love her so much. She is young and so freaking talented. It's mind blowing. So it's been them four for a really long time. Then they added on an apprentice. He's now amazing, his name's Fernando. Then another guy came and was like, yo, I'd really love to tattoo here. They hired him. Then they hired a guy that came from Puerto Rico who's like a beast, like he's super, super, super talented. Um, very well known in Puerto Rico. He's won Ink Master multiple times. So now he works there. So that's what, Fame, John, Tyler, Brissa, Castro, Fernando. So that's six. Then they got another guy um, named Mike. I don't know where Mike came from, but another super talented tattoo artist. So that's seven. Then this guy who Tyler said is like a legend in the tattoo industry came to do a guest spot at their shop and loved it so much that he wants to stay. So now that's eight. Eight tattoo artists when it was just four because it's, again, a really small shop. Now they're having another apprentice. I think like some girl. I think the girl tattoo artist is apprenticing the other girl. And there's just people, like so many people want to work at their shop because of the dynamic that they have. And <coughs> Tyler's like, I think we're going to start needing you more like in the early part of the day. Like if you came from like 10 a.m. to 2 and just like met, like ran the front of the shop, like when people's appointments come in, um, just kind of like helping everybody get organized and get ready for the day. And he's like, we'll probably need you like three days a week. So depending on how that goes, I will probably be doing that really hoping I don't see any of their cars in the parking lot. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, go home, go get breakfast or something. So I usually come in here and come straight to like the main desk because they always have like the paperwork that clients fill out with like their medical history, what artists they're getting. I don't know who this is. So I always try not to throw things away because I don't know if they want to keep it. Um, I'll see what needs to be like straightened up here. Like, can give you guys an actual look at the shop so yeah it's a mess in here this is the girl station that's the guy from Puerto Rico's that's the newest apprentice that's the guy that came from like he's like a really well-known artist this is Mike and this is a what is it called a guest artist right now so it is yeah a mess in here um so i have a lot of a lot of work to do and then i filled this up two days ago and it's pretty empty so then i go and i refill it all up and where's the light i could have sworn i turned it on oh. This is the tattoo room, or the sticker room. There's stickers from floor to ceiling, literally all the way. This is where they do, um, that's where they print their tattoos. This is like their little break area where they eat their little fridge. And then this light stops flashing, but this is the supply closet where I get everything. So, yeah. 
lots of, of work to do. This is Tyler's room. This is Tyler's section right here. You can see this is him when he was in the Marines. That right there, there's a flag from Iraq. He has all of his like memorabilia, all of his awards, his honorable discharge, his Marine Corps thing. Somebody drew that for him. So this is like his whole section over here. And then this is another guy, John. This is another owner over here. And look how cute. They have their Christmas tree. They have their bathroom. This is like their mini tree. They have some snacks and stuff here. And then this room is the other owner's. Let me make sure nobody's in there. Yeah. This is the other owner's room. It's dark in here, but usually don't have to do much in here, but yeah. So let me get my work started. Hey guys, so it's 11.20 and I'm on my way back home. It is so gloomy outside, I kind of love it. I need to run an errand and then I'm gonna come home and start editing. I think I need another coffee. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make one. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock and it looks like it's like 5 p.m. It looks so dark. Um, so yeah, that's kinda what I'm gonna get done. I know everybody in my comments is yelling at me from my last video because I was tired, um, but I, I feel better now. I'm still tired, but it's okay. I'm gonna push through. I am going to continue Vlogmas. There's only 10 days left and I'm going to power through it and it is okay. I appreciate you guys for looking out for me, but it is okay. The hard work is worth it. I'm working my ass off for something that I want and it is a-okay. I might complain that I'm tired and I am tired, but I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep going and keep pushing through. So, um, yeah, I already took out the fish for dinner because I'm making trout. One of the HelloFresh meals, I don't know, I gotta check it. Um, which is gonna be yummy. I think it's like trout, potatoes, and green beans, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, and also my wine delivery gets here today. So I need to make sure that I'm home until it gets here because I have to sign for it. You guys, look at how satisfying that is. So satisfying. Now I have to fill all of these Tupperwares in here and I don't know how. I'm gonna make all this fit so I have to do that but first I'm gonna make myself breakfast and I have these tortillas my butter I have some leftover green onions from yesterday I have jalapenos I have oven roasted turkey breast and then I have eggs and some cheese this is the trout that I'm gonna make for dinner which I'm really excited about so I'm gonna put it in the fridge for the time being um, so yeah, I'm going to make myself this little situation for breakfast, figure out how I'm going to store all of those in here. And yeah, I tossed out all of the yucky ones. So literally I only have to put those in there and it's so satisfying because they're all glass. They're going to last me forever. I can heat all my food up around. I don't know where I'm going to put these. Ooh, it was looking really satisfying, but I just don't have that much room. If I could use this one, this would be great too, but... Oh, I actually can clean that out. Okay, I guess I just gave myself a project to do. So anyways, let me make myself breakfast because I'm freaking hungry. And then I'm going to want to tackle that. Okay, so I made myself my little tortilla breakfast thing. Camera did not, look at how dark it is. It looks like it's nighttime in my house. It is so good, I took a nice big bite. I'm making myself another coffee right now. I use the Columbia pod. First time, I've never tried it. It made a pretty big cup. And this weather is making me wanna not do anything and I can't not do anything. So I'm going to eat my breakfast while I edit because I got to get that video edited and then I need to wait for that package to get here once it gets here I need to go to the bank and to Target and then come back home and just stay home then I'm just gonna stay here I text Tyler 
to let me know if he wanted food because he got there as I was leaving the shop and he's probably not gonna be home until like dinner time. There's apparently a tornado watch because you know, typical Florida, there's always something. There's always something. So anyways, I'm gonna eat, get to editing. There we go. And I will see you guys later. Okay, it is two o'clock and I just finished one video. Now I'm about to start editing another video so that I can hopefully be ahead. It has been pouring rain this whole time. I had the second coffee and I'm like wired, wired. They still have not come to drop off the, let me see. It's supposed to be the 15th, which is yeah, today. I'm waiting for them to drop off the wine because if I'm not here and I miss it They'll send it back to the warehouse and then charge me for like a restocking fee and I'm not trying to do that So that's why I'm just sitting here. Well, I'm not just sitting here. I'm working and trying to get as much Work as I can done since I have to stay here anyway I don't really have much to show you guys and I'm sorry because it's probably pretty boring. I swear I wanted to do things today, but Real life is that every day isn't isn't very fun. Leonard is knocked out with his eyes open. He sleeps with his eyes open, it's kind of creepy. I am so proud of myself. I look, my under eyes are awful. But, I'm so proud of myself. I just finished, I uploaded one vlog and edited another. So it's four o'clock. I've been sitting here since like 11.30. But I got two videos edited. I just have to do the, the thumbnail for the one for tomorrow. And I at least have today's video up, tomorrow's video ready, so all I have to do is edit this video that you guys are watching. But, my box of wines came, so I figured I would show them to you guys. And I will leave Wink's website down below. Um, I personally think it's very worth it, even if you want it for like to gift someone, which is what I originally did. I think it's amazing, especially if you're... If you like to host, if you go to a lot of parties or events or anything like that, even if you're not like a drinker, you can always just store all the wine and you will always have like wine on deck for whenever the situation is. Like I hate having to like run and grab a bottle of wine. Like if I'm going somewhere and I don't want to show up like empty handed or if somebody's coming over and I'm like, damn it, I don't have like anything to sip on. So anyways, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottles of wine. I got a mix of reds, whites, and rosé. So I got a Tempranillo, which I really, really like. My sister actually got me into Tempranillo, and I love it. So this one is made with organic grapes. So this is an organic wine here. I've never seen this before. Um, let's see what it says in the back. It's from 2018, and it's from Spain. So we have that one. Let me move you guys just a little bit. I'm trying not to close my laptop because I have a video processing. Uh, point Passage Merlot. Point the Passage Merlot. So, like, I'm going to see my mom tomorrow. My mom loves Merlot, so I might bring this just so we can drink a little bit. This is from France, and it's imported, and it's made with organic grapes as well. So, this is really good if you're, you know, somebody that is more into, like, organic, health-conscious type of things. I have this one. I think I've had this before. This one is from Chile, and this is from 2020, and it's a white wine blend, and this is called Alma Libre. So there's that one. This is from... I'm trying to see what it says. This one isn't organic. Got that. 
I have Summer Water, which I love this wine for the summertime. This is the best summer rosé. Well, one of the best. I really, really like it. This is from California. It's a California wine, but it's rosé. So good. So like this one, I probably won't drink. I'll probably just leave it for when it starts to get hot outside again. Because um, rosé I specifically love in the summertime. Then I have a Sauvignon Blanc. This is from Chile, and this is with organic grapes as well which is cool because me and tyler like um our sauvignon blanc only from um new zealand that is like superior we don't like napa usually it's from napa we don't like napa's um sauvignon blanc it's a lot sweeter the one from new zealand is like bitter grapes like uh sour grapes so it's really really good I think I've gotten this one before. This is called The Wonderful Wine, and this is made with organic grapes, sustainably farmed, vegan friendly. Um, and what what is this? Oh, this is a Tempranillo as well. So I got, and a Tempranillo is like a more dry red wine, um, but it's usually from like Spain. Yep, product of Spain. So I got that, and I love this wine. Um, I specifically love the packaging because it doesn't look like a wine. Um, this is from a brand called Field Theory, and this is a Albarino, and this is from California. Handpicked at night, whole cluster pressed, fermented in steel, and it's just really cool. And this is a really nice bottle. Like I will, this is a good bottle as a gift with like a set of wine glasses. Super, super pretty. So I am stocked on wines. Like I said, one of them I'll probably bring to my mom, so I can bring a bottle maybe of this one. Or maybe this one, um, or the Sauvignon Blanc, over on the 21st when I'm gonna see the girls, and then like Christmas Eve, I can open one. Christmas Day, we can drink one of them. Since my sister's gonna be in town, um, staying with us, her and my brother in law, we'll have wine to drink. So it's like perfect. So I'll leave Wink's website down below, but yeah, highly, 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 highly recommend if you're a wine drinker, if you have someone that loves wine or if you just host a lot that you want to have wine like on deck it's usually f about four bottles a month so i think i'm finally going to run my errands literally i just have to go to a bank and i'm going to stop at target all right and then when i get back i'm just going to clean because i just i need my space clean or it's going to drive me insane and as soon as i get back home i'm taking a shower but i sat down and edited that entire time i'll be back wellies thankfully we're just going up the street i have bad bunny's newest song stuck in my head la jompa well bad bunny and arcangels i have it like stuck in my mind oh well, i am here, I'm home and I'm about to open up one of these bottles of wine because I just cleaned out the sink, put all the dishes that were in the dishwasher away, reloaded the dishwasher, and I'm about to restock, like replace my batteries on this. So I wanted to talk about it really quick because To date, it is still one of my most used gifts I've ever gotten. I don't remember if I got this for Christmas <coughs> or a birthday. I really do not remember. But if you do not own a wine opener that is electric, please do yourself a favor and get one. If you have a family member or a friend that loves wine, getting them a what, should, what way do these go in getting them one of these and like a bottle of wine bomb gift amazing gift i have had this for maybe two years and i've never replaced the batteries so this is how it is this one is from the brand called be full there's a ton of different brands on amazon i'll link one of them down below i don't know but the it mine specifically came with three different things it came with and i still have everything a, oh, it came with an aerator too. Where's my aerator? Four different things. So it came with an aerator, a wine stopper that you can put in to replace the one that comes out. This breaks the um, the seal. So it has 
four like blades in there and you literally just go like this and spin it and it completely like look it like cleanly pops the seal of the wine off and then this so you literally just stick this in here you hit the button and it goes down and then hopefully you can see that's it and then I will literally just pop the cork out and that's it I'm just gonna rinse my aerator out pop that in there and what the aerator does is it like um takes like the air bubbles out of the wine so the wine comes out like a lot cleaner a nice glass of wine these wine glasses are also from amazon i love them because they're really 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 big obsessed like that Mm, mm, mm. And this one is the Tempranillo Crianza, is what it's called. So I'm just gonna. Oh shit. Actually, I'm gonna put my Christmas one on. Where is it? I got this. Where did I get this? I can't remember if it was like West Elm, Crate and Barrel one of those I ordered online or maybe CB2 look how cute I'm just gonna put this in the fridge oh let me show you guys what I got at Target I only got one gift I got a gift for my little baby Sloan I think I put it over here did I? got her she loves dinosaurs and mickey mouse so i got her two of these little play dinosaurs just as like an add-on and this mickey mouse sweatshirt well mini mouse i guess super freaking cute i swear the best part of having kids has to be dressing them Besides loving them, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in the little box, put these on top, and that's her little present. So I have one more, well, I think I'm gonna get him like a toy and then a gift card. Um, and then I just have my two nephews to get for. I actually feel like I still have a lot of <laughs> gifting to do, <laughs> to be honest. I need to find a box to put this stuff in. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it, clean up the dining room because I was working there all day. I need to clean the cat's litter boxes out, start dinner. I think Tyler said he's actually going to be home like at a normal time today. He's like, I should be home by 6.30. So we'll see. I'm cleaning for a little bit oh, I'm tired I want to take a shower and just start oh, come here hello no thank you you're so nice 
You're so nice, Wallace. Thank you so much. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay, my glasses, my glasses, my glasses, bro. Okay. Are you excited to wear your Christmas sweater? <laughs> you excited to wear your Christmas sweater this year? And your cousins are going to be here, Doak and Ash. I'm tired. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Willis. <laughs> Cute dog. But yeah, I don't think anything much is... Oh my god. Much else is gonna go on for tonight. I'm just gonna make my dinner. And I'm making fish with potatoes. Ooh, look at these under eyes. Fish with potatoes. And some vegetables. So, um, I'm about to jump in the shower. It's 6.15. So Tyler's probably gonna be coming home pretty soon. But the shower, get myself clean rested dinner everything straightened up and be good to go for tomorrow and the rest of the weekend because i am doing someone's makeup on saturday one of my old clients who i did her makeup for her wedding she's awesome i'm doing her makeup for like a christmas party or something so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog honestly not that much went down today because I mean, I did stuff all day, but it wasn't fun enough to vlog. Like, I was at the shop for like almost two hours, like right about two hours actually. Came home and I edited. I got my wine, which is fun. Went to Target, which is cool. Wrapped up a present. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I might go to the HQ to package some orders i'll probably go in the morning and do those and then i'm gonna go to my mom's house after she gets out of work because she wants me to do her hair so i'm probably gonna hang out with my parents for a little bit i'll bring you guys with me so you guys can hang out with my mom with me but um yeah have a good night i'll see you guys tomorrow